Hey guys, what's up? Bobby K back there at Bitco Hobby, and here we have the brand new XFly A10. This is a twin 50 millimeter power system in this bad boy. Um, it runs off 40 amp ESCs and four cell power. Calls for a 2200 to a 2600. And I'm telling you what, this thing for the size, it's absolutely beautiful. It has tons of rivet detail all along the cockpit and going along the sides here and the wings. Um, has some pretty cool features as well. Right in the back here, you can get to your ESC wires and also the adjustment for the tail section here. Um, you have ball links, uh, clevises all the way around. The landing gear actually, you can hand launch, launch this. They're really easy to get in and out. Well, somewhat easy to get in and out, but they just pop right out like that. And then uh, just slide back in and click. So it's pretty easy for the back. Um, the, the main, you're just gonna have to have a 1.5 millimeter hex uh, to undo the clevis inside there and this uh, front will slide out also. Um, other than that, it has a pretty big battery bay. You can see I have my Roaring Top 2245C all the way forward for our first flight. And then I'm running an AR620 receiver um, all the way up front. They have the wiring, so it's in a nice little bundle. So you have a nice little receiver pocket up there also. You're not gonna be fighting your receiver and your battery when you're trying to get uh, batteries in and out. So uh, some pretty cool features. We're getting ready to lose sunlight here. So uh, let's go ahead and get this thing up in the air. Um, as far as rates go, I have my rates set at 60, 80, and 100 for mid, low, and high with 15% expo. So let's go ahead and uh, try it out. Holy smokes, I'm gonna come back in the power a little bit there. This thing is a <laughs> very fast. So that's hands off. It's actually uh, flying pretty true. No trim yet. I'm going to come back this way and just level it out here. Watch a little bit of right. All right, there we go. So at low rate, it feels pretty comfortable. I can tell you one thing, um, high rate is, it's probably uh, a handful. That's low, low rate, full spin there. And I'm only at half throttle right now and it's moving pretty good. So here's a half throttle pass. And that's not bad at all. Almost got that bird. Jeez, it gets right. It's very smooth. This thing gets right along. All right, we'll turn it back around. And come in for a high speeder. All right, now we're cooking. Holy smokes. This thing moves out. It is no joke. <laughs> Going up. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, well, turn it back around or it's going to go to outer space. Holy smokes. Jeez Louise. I can't get over how quick that thing is. And it sounds awesome for some twin 50s. I, I actually thought it might be a little windy, but uh, it's actually very smooth. Holy smoke. This thing is awesome. I'm gonna slow it up a little bit here, see how the slow speeds are. Not too bad. Probably gonna settle in pretty nice. So I haven't tried any of my other rates yet. We're gonna go ahead, I'll kick it up into high rate for everything and see what kind of uh holy smokes, yeah, it's a lot more touchy in high rate. So 100 percent with 15% expo. <laughs> holy smokes. Yeah, it'll get right around. I'm going to pop it back into low right now. Oh yeah, this thing is nice. I'm curious to see how a uh, bigger battery will fly in it. This 2200 all the way forward isn't bad at all. 
a little bit of the down pressure when uh, when you're inverted, but as to be expected. A10s don't really like inverted. Alright, so that's our timer. I have my timer set to three minutes, so let's go ahead, get it the way we can land, and uh, do some approaches here. I'm going to have to land on the pavement, so let's go ahead and take a few steps back here so I have some room. If it looks good, I'm taking it. Ooh, little skip here and there. <laughs> All right. All right, so let's go ahead and check our battery voltage. Gonna go ahead and pull the battery out actually it's probably gonna be a little bit easier that way all right so that was uh, three and a half minutes three minutes 35 seconds and I've I have about 10 percent I'm at three six nines across the board so uh, yeah definitely if you have your timer set for three minutes definitely come in right at three minutes um, this is a 2200 you're probably gonna be able to extend your time just a little bit using a 2600 but other than that this thing flew absolutely fantastic um, I can't wait for some of you guys to get your hands on them and fly these things and uh, yeah leave some comments down below in the disc row, or not in the disc row, in the comment section <laughs> in the disc row, you can find the link to this other than that thank you for uh, watching and don't forget to like subscribe and uh, hit that notification bell for the latest grace come for Bitco hobby thanks we'll see you next time